Welcome back everyone and today I'm going to show you how to make a three meat calzone. Now a calzone is a pizza that's kind of inside of itself so all the delicious flavors and ingredients that you love on a pizza is stuffed inside a pizza crust. A calzone is an Italian Americanized dish which means it's got Italian flavors and ingredients but it was made in America by immigrants who came over. So let's talk about the pizza dough. You can make your own pizza dough. Now I have a recipe for it on my recipe blog, katherinesplates.com, or, you know, to make life easy and uh, less complicated, you can just buy your own pizza dough from your store, which I'm gonna be using this one today to show you just how easy a calzone is. So we're going to pull the dough out of our packaging. Now this is 13.8 ounce size tube of pizza dough. There we go. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of flour on my work surface. I'm using a silicone very thin mat but that's really wonderful for doughs and stuff like that. Just kind of keeps things from sticking flour will really help. I'm going to cut my dough in half and work with one half. Bring the flour over here, put a little bit in my hands. We're going to press this into a ball because we want a round shape and these come in rectangular shapes. Sprinkle a little bit of flour on it and then we're going to roll it out. I like to just flour everything I'm using. We're looking about seven to eight inches circle. Does not have to be perfectly round, okay? Calzones are pretty rustic in their shape. Now I'm going to place this on a parchment lined sheet pan. Okay, let's start on this one. Now calzones are like hand pies and they're savory. They're easy to pick up. That's why we keep them small to about the seven to eight inches round in diameter. Plus we're thinning out the dough. Now we're placing it on the parchment lined sheet pan. Easy to prepare the calzones. Let's build up our calzones. We're gonna take a little bit of marinara sauce. Our favorite is Rayo's homemade marinara sauce. We love this right here, but you can use any type you want. And I'm just gonna place this right on half of the dough. And what you don't wanna do is go to the edge, about half an inch, that way we can seal these. I'm keeping it very light with the sauce. We don't want to get this too wet, but we do want to put some flavor inside of it. Just cover half of it. I've got some mozzarella cheese, and I love that on a pizza, so I'm going to sprinkle a little bit right on the sauce, trying to keep it off the edge there. Now, if you want to put in some Parmesan or Parmigiano Reggiano, you can do that. Whatever cheese you like on your pizza, you can certainly add. If you like the three cheese blend, the Italian blend, we have some pepperoni. We're going to start. That's one of our meats. What's fun about these calzones is you can make them any way you want, whatever you want on them. If you want a vegetarian one, I would saute up your vegetables and then put them on here. All right, let's do this one here. Yeah, there's so many different options. If you don't want to put the sauce on there, you don't have to. You can even put a white sauce on there. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more cheese. I'm just gonna put it during the, through the layers. I have some Italian ground sausage. This is mild. I'm gonna show you really quick right here how I made this. I'm gonna be cooking up some mild Italian ground sausage. Right, we're just gonna put it in our pan, break it up, get it nice and brown. I'm just gonna use my meat chopper and get it going. Now, if you want to add like peppers and onions to your calzone, you can add it to your sausage here and get the peppers and onions nice and softened down and lightly browned. But I'm just going to make the three meat one today. 
All right, we got it all brown. All right, we're gonna place it on top of the cheese. I love sausage on my pizza. Let me know down in the comments what you would want on your calzone. Oh, I'm loading it full of the sausage for sure. Make sure you leave your edging there. A little bit more cheese. There we go. We're not done yet. We still got one more meat to put on. Now we're trying to keep this Italian. I am using a Genoa salami. It's uncured. This is what it looks like right here. All right, I'm just going to probably put two slices right there. They're pretty big. If you want to cut them up, you can do that. All right, that's our three meats right there. A little bit more cheese right in the center. Oh, yeah. All right, let's close these up. You're going to take over the back edge that doesn't have anything on it, and we're going to pull it over the ingredients and then pinch it to that outer layer. Now you can use a fork to seal it, or what I'm gonna do is just take the edging and kind of roll it and seal. Give it kind of a rustic look, twist it, and we're gonna do that going all the way around. There you go, just like that. Get a good seal on it. You don't want these to break open in your oven. And then just pinch down at the end, back here. I've got a bowl. I've got a teaspoon of water. I'm going to crack an egg into it. We're going to whisk this together. Oh, yeah. I'm going to take a brush. We're going to coat our calzones the dough, the top, and the edges really well with the egg wash. It'll give it a nice color, make it nice and crispy on the tops too. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of Italian seasoning across the top. A little bit of salt. A little bit of garlic powder. Just a little bit, don't overpower it. There we go. I'm going to take a little bit of foil. I'm just going to lay it over the calzones very lightly, like a tent. I've got my oven preheated at 375 degrees. We're going to bake the calzones for 15 minutes with the foil laid across of them. I'm going to pull the foil off and then we're going to bake it another 15 minutes till it's nice and golden brown. What do y'all think? I let these cool down just a little bit. I'm gonna bring my board over here. I'm gonna pop these off of here. I think you can just, there, there we go. Yeah, I let them rest for about seven, eight minutes to kind of pull itself together so nothing kind of dribbles out as we cut open these. Y'all serve them up with some heated up marinara sauce. I'm just gonna sprinkle with a little bit of parsley, give it some color right in there. Serve it up. I'm gonna cut one in half for you, and dive in. I'll dunk it in. Mm. We're still eating this like a pizza. <laughs> We're holding it, wow. All the delicious meats inside with that mozzarella cheese, a little bit of sauce on the end, and what we did to the top of the crust. That's delicious. Mmm. Yes. All right. What do y'all think? What are you putting into your calzone? Make sure you give me a thumbs up. I hope you like this recipe enough that you're going to share this with family and friends and make sure you comment down below if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification that way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted you know i will see y'all on the next episode